guys, we're here in the trailer. Grant's, Grant moved out of his apartment this week and used the enclosed trailer, and he still left the couch in here. What the heck, man? <laughs> but, uh, guys, I'm starting to pre-install the 2x4s for the blower racks. Um, they, they're not in yet. I just ordered them a couple days ago. So I assume that they're going to be here, you know, later this week. Uh, so the two blower racks are going to go there. I was going to put the emergency eye wash station, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. I was going to put that over there. Here, There's just too much traffic in and out over there and it's going to fall down. It's not, it's just a plastic piece. So I, I think I'm going to have during the day, have them unlock this side door. And that way, if something happens, they can just open up the side door and reach in and the emergency eye wash station will be right there. It's not going to get hit or anything like that and I just think it's gonna stay a little bit better. My business is about to grow, um, and I'm really excited. I haven't had this much excitement um, for my business in a long time. So, news to come, like, it's gonna change my business forever. Um, we're getting into a new service this year, and we're going all in, so I'm super excited. Right now, this top shelf area up here is gonna be, you know, belts and little things like replacement parts but we got to have first aid kit we've got to have an eye wash station guys my podcast look at my podcast and listen to this episode the only thing that i said in there that i was going to do that i decided against was painting the walls i'm not painting the walls um it's just i don't think it would look good with the way the, this material i think it would look weird um so i'm not painting the walls but I tell a story in that podcast, B &B Long, the B&B Lawn Care podcast on I, uh, Apple Podcasts. I tell a story of when I was a kid, I got a smoke bomb, uh, the fuse, in my eye. It was burning in my eye. And luckily, my mom had the hose out and sprayed it in my eye. It saved my vision for the rest of my life. I was like six or seven or eight or something like that. Um, I would have been blind in that eye if it wasn't for that hose being on right next to me and her just splashing in my eye immediately. So that's why eye wash station is so important. Like you never know what's gonna happen. Um, so there it is. I think it was $20 or so. I got these big bottles. Here, Here's the big bottles. There's two of these big bottles of solution or whatever it is. It's purified water, I, I don't know. But this, you, you may see these. I saw one actually at Home Depot today. Guys, these little things are what takes you just a little bit better. You're taking care of your employees more, making sure everybody's safe, and that's number one priority. But we're gonna kinda pimp out this trailer, man, a little bit. The best of the best equipment, we're having the racks up, the best safety equipment we can possibly have on board, and then replacement parts on board. Um, so, it's exciting. <music> said in the beginning of this video I've been working on my racks in the trailer getting everything up and organized sorry for the wind guys it's super windy out today but the trailer is looking great we've got the trimmers lined up all of them are working now Kyle help me out and just get them cleaned up and running again so everything runs perfect we've got an edger this year uh, just in case anybody wants to use that instead of a trimmer to edge but equipment defender racks, guys, I'll leave a link down below. As always, you can get 10% off um, anything in the description. It's not a lot when you guys are buying new tools and equipment and things like that. And also gives us a little kickback. So appreciate that. But I think I want to get one or two more gas can racks. Maybe put another five gallon right here. And maybe another one or two um, two gallon racks. But I'm going to get another blower in here up off the ground. We also have a cone caddy 
from Ballard Equipment, which is super cool. Just gets them up off the ground so we can blow out the trailer and you know not cause a fire and just have it kind of cleaned up in here. The only other thing I want to do is get these boards down, uh, just put some new screws in there. Uh, not a huge deal, but I'm really liking everything. I also put a spool holder, a new spool holder from Equipment Defender. Um, get that up out of the way. It's got a cutter on there, security camera. Come on, man. It's looking really good, really clean. We're also utilizing the tool rack that my father-in-law helped me build about three years ago, I think, and some racks. So air compressor on board, a battery powered DeWalt uh, for any little tires or anything that we need. I gotta get a hose for that. This trailer aid that Brian's Lawn Maintenance sent me in case our tire goes flat or something in the trailer, a spare trailer tire. I gotta get tools so we can change it out on the road. And I'm also gonna have my all the oils and belts and things like that. Eye wash station, Kayla Bauman gave me this idea. First aid kit, extra safety glasses in case anybody needs them. I'll have hearing protection in there. Um, also a cooler this year, like a little Yeti cooler, Orca or something. But um, that's it. So apologize I'm getting over a cold here, but still trying to get some work done. And we're ready for some new equipment in the season. We've got, dude, this is literally gonna be the best year. Uh, dude, our, we have some crazy awesome accounts coming in. We're getting finalized this week. It's March 9th or something like that. So ready to crush it, hope you guys are too. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.